Uh, thanks for coming once again. Uh, before we started the meeting, I was just thinking about some scriptures. Um, the first scripture that I was thinking about is in Isaiah that uh, it is God that teaches you to profit. As people of God, we must never forget that, that God can teach us to profit. Uh, he can help us. And the Bible also says that always remember that it's the Lord that God that giveth you power, you know, to make wealth. So he, he can give us power to make wealth. And we must also not forget that the Bible says the earth is the Lord and the fullness thereof. You know, he owns the cattle on a thousand hill. So God has everything in abundance. So he can, he can give us anything. And um, we must have abundance mindset, knowing that our God, you know, is not a stingy God. And when we have an abundance mindset, and when we also have the attitude of a giver, when we want to give, and when God sees our heart, that we want to be a giver, God is going to really use us. And, but we must have abundance mindset. A lot of people have poverty mindset. We must change that. We must have abundance mindset. And that, there's another scripture that uh, is very, very important. We all know that the Bible says, I wish above all things that thou prosper and be in health, even as thou so prosper, prosper. So God is able to enable us. So today we are going to be sharing uh, with one another. We have someone that will be speaking to us. Uh, Mr. Tyon for Lion, I've known him for many, many years, and he will, he will be speaking to us today uh, about green business ideas for aspiring entrepreneurs. And um, it's always good for us to share together because there are so many opportunities out there, but if you don't know it, you won't be able to tap into it. But when you have people that are already in that line, it's very easy for you to understand, you know, it, it, the business that they are doing, they can always give you tips and they can let you know technical uh, know-how of how to do such a business. So we have him here in our midst and um, I have, um, uh, slide with me uh let me let me just start sharing your presentation all right uh good morning good evening good afternoon good uh whichever one that is applicable to every one of us uh from whatever uh, part of the world that we are joining um it's a privilege to just have this uh short uh, presentation to talk about game business uh, and to share and to probably have another very short session where we'll be able to have a question and answer so that we can talk together about that. Um, so my name is Tayo, Tayo for Lion. Um, uh, fortunately, uh, presently, uh, I am into that space right now, uh, the green business, although we are still in that space trying to, you know, um, you know, uh, get the business uh, moving. But I would like to quickly uh, just share some of the opportunities and some of the, uh, how will I call it, uh, the things that is there generally anyway. So uh, Prof, I think you can move to the next slide. Sorry, I'm coming. Okay. Okay, so uh, just briefly here, I just try to um, just put here a sort of a small definition to for us to have an understanding of what green business is. And I said that uh, a green business or a sustainable business is an enterprise that has a minimal negative impact or potentially a positive effect on the global or local environment, community, society, or economy. So, um, so any business that uh, you know that have uh, a negative or minimal negative impact 
on you know on the on the environment uh i think uh a very good example of the of this one is uh, that we know is a uh, is a carbon carbon emission so uh, uh anything in that uh, that is in that space is qualified to be called a green business or anybody that, that is going into that and i also put there that a business that strives to miss the uh triple bottom line what I mean by the triple bottom line is uh, socially um, social impacts. When we measure that business along the, what is the social impact of that business, the environmental impact of that business, and the financial impact of that business. So that's what I mean. So you and you agree that most of the businesses these day, even the already the established um, uh, businesses. They are trying to move along this uh, area in terms of what is their social impact in their community or in the environment where they are operating, what is the environmental impact, and of course, the finance. They also try to measure all of that along this part. Okay, uh, next slide, please. Okay, Bobby. Okay, and I also put here, who is a green entrepreneur? I said that a green entrepreneur is the one who cultivate green business with the help of green practice. A green entrepreneur consciously address an environmental or social problem or need through the understanding of entrepreneurial ideas. So they penetrate the market by swiping conventional or traditional products. So when you have, when you talk about green entrepreneur, somebody that have the idea or that have the mind, the, the mind of, you know, helping even the, uh, the established business to help them to be able to go green, to be able to uh, measure them along what is their social impact, their environmental impact of that business. And we know there are a lot of businesses right now that are also trying to toe that line because um, virtually the whole world now is trying to move towards, uh, you know, Green, um, green environment or green technology generally. So, uh, so an entrepreneur that is prepared in that space that is able to assist individual or a company to be able to move uh, their footprint into that space, uh, uh, that person is uh, is called a green entrepreneur. And you 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 remember what I put there? I said that with the understanding of entrepreneurial idea. So you must have that idea in your mind. And another thing is that uh, it is not that you are trying to uh, come up with something new, but rather you use what is there, the product. For example, I can give an example right now. You have a, a lot of recycling that is going on, either paper recycling, bottle recycling, and things like that. So you have a traditional product that is there, but they are trying to, I mean, uh, 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 you know, reshape it or give it another better form that is usable instead of you producing or coming up with another, uh, that same product uh, again. Okay, you can move to the next slide, please. Okay. And here, I, I, I haven't said that, I try to put here some green business idea for sustainable and eco-minded entrepreneur. And I put here, the first one is environmental law. You know, we talk about uh, environmental impact. Okay, the environmental law. So uh, we can set up for anybody or any entrepreneur in that line, we have, uh, we can set up uh, or provide a legal service to protect the environment or hold entities accountable for violating en environmental laws. Now, um, in our own uh, in our own case, we've discovered that uh, this environmental uh, law is very very strong. Now, in fact, many countries and uh, you know uh, our businesses they are now trying to uh, look at their footprint or their impact in terms of how much uh, either positively or they are, uh, negatively they are uh, contributing to environmental degradation or whatsoever. So um, if you have uh, an idea in that area that you can provide the legal services for, uh, gov uh, for uh, both even including government uh, 
as well. Uh, the corporate organizations and things like that. So they are looking at that. So that's one area that you can look into. And I also put here composite business, provide a service to pick up compost or place uh, a place to drop it off. So uh, if you see, for example, let me use an example, like in Nigeria, you see that there are a lot of debts here and there, and all these debts, they are, I mean, there are some that even uh, 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 if you set up a private company, it's a very a registered private business, you can maybe in, in, a, in an estate or in, a, in an area, you can, you can engage your service to make sure that the area is well uh, knitted, is green, you know, you can provide such service to pick up those compost and things like that. And those compost, you don't pick them for free. And even after picking them, there are some already established businesses that can even use or they use some of these things. I've, I've seen some of the estates here and there that even put some of these, uh, what is it called? Um, like um, a, a little bin where they will just put there that you can throw, throw your, your, your bottle of Coke or things like that. And I even heard that even in, in, in Germany or some countries like that, if you, or if you buy a bottle of coke and you are able to return the bottle of coke back to the uh, to the store where you bought where you where you buy the bottle of coke, there is going to be a lot of a rebate or some amount that is put back into your pocket. So this also is a very good uh, um, uh, green uh, business uh, idea. All right, the next one, next slide. Okay. Then we have green cleaning, using eco-friendly products to clean houses and businesses. Uh, then here, duct cleaning, uh, dust and uh, dirt can easily accumulate in hair ducts, so preventing the hair conditioning system from working properly and thereby increasing energy consumption. So all of this is uh, this another area or another green business opportunity that we can set up a business uh, outfit and we can begin to send out or uh, meet our companies that we can help them to clean, you know, hair conditioning and things like that. And even some estate where you can provide, uh, you know, green cleaning for them, their lawn and things like that. These are areas that are, I mean, that are very good, that are, are, are green business are opportunities that are well open. All right, next slide. Then we have our front, uh, fundraiser or grant writers, many environmental organizations. This one, you can use it. You can help people to write. Uh, there are a lot of, uh, uh, what is it called, green businesses that are here and there. Uh, some of them need somebody to help them to develop a business plan, a business case to be able to access fund. Uh, I think about two or three months ago, the, the G20, uh, during their, uh, the meeting that they had, I mean, in uh, is it, uh, Glasgow now in UK, the, in Europe, uh, they've already uh, come up with a verdict. They are no more funding any fossil fuel projects anywhere in the world. I mean, for self fuel projects, they are not funding it anymore. So what the fund that is available right now is diverted towards green business or anything green technology or whatsoever. So there are a lot out there that needs people to help them to write, to be able to access this fund. And we can provide the services for them to be able to do this. And it's very good. Then we have eco-friendly food supplier, deliver food from local source to people or businesses who need them from, from farm to table restaurant or some, some of businesses that you could help uh, to supply. So there are so many people now that are very, very conscious about you know uh, health right now. So we can provide also, this is another area that is very good, that is a good in our business. Next slide, please. All right, we have also, I put here, Echo Restaurants, you can open a restaurant. Uh, that uses only locally sourced food or sustainable products and, and processes. Then we have an organic nutritionist. Uh, you know, you help people to eat healthy. Uh, I mean, so, so uh, th these are these are these are areas that has not yet been uh, uh, exploited, or there is no uh, people have not yet crowded into it. So the business is still open. That you can also start thinking of maybe. Uh, coming up with something, an idea, or how you can uh, start uh, something in this area. All right, next one. 
Then we have plant delivery services. Uh, this is another area where, you know, estates and some uh, 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 places or even houses that wants their uh, that wants to live in a very healthy, very good uh, uh, environment, and you know this one also you can also be able to plug into that. Then we have recycled furniture and home use. I mean, home goods use recycled material. There are a lot of materials that people just put outside for you know people to come and pick and things like that. All these things can be recycled. These are part of the green business opportunities that one can. Uh, uh, I mean, uh, plug into and and leverage into those, uh, those opportunities. All right, uh, next slide. Then we have an open a used store book, uh, recycled old and gently, uh, gen uh, gently books for uh, a fraction of a price. Uh, I think I remember some days ago, there was uh, someone that was asking me about a lion and the jewel. I said, that's an old book. And he was looking for a book like that. So, I mean, so books like that, one can get it and, you know, repackage it and uh, recycle it properly. And, you know, that is that. Then we have Green Gift Shop. That's another area that is an uh, open also business area that one also can think about. All right, next one. Then we have apps. Of course, this area is uh, there are a lot of people there. You can develop a mobile apps designed to help people with environmentally friendly functions, like finding a recycle center so they can do that, or learning about environmental practices of a different brand. So people that want to learn about environmental practices, about green business and things like that, can develop apps like that, that can help people. And as more as they are accessing the apps, I mean, uh, that is also a very good uh, business area. Then we have refurbish or recycle tech, uh, take people's old and unused technology and recycle uh, the part of it. And also, I think I was watching a video about two days ago, and I saw somebody that was uh, trying to refuel old 504 guy, very old. And some people came around to even cherish that old 504 car and things like that. So all these things, I uh, mean, it's an area that we can also, uh, you know, uh, take an opportunity to start our business. All right, next slide. Then we have Echo Travel Planner, plan eco-friendly travel destination and activity for tourists, uh, where they can go. That's another good one. Sustainable event planner, offer event planning services that guarantee a reduced carbon footprint from the events. Uh, this is also an, an area that we can start thinking about and you can do more research and findings about. Then open an organic spa. Uh, so we can open also a, an organic spa. That's another area, another good one. Um, in, a, in, a, in, a, in an area where you know that it's a high class area, people that are you know, conscious about that. So we can also start uh, exploring that. Uh, that's another green business opportunity that we can explore. All right, let's go to the next slide. Then I put the eco-friendly kids' toys. Uh, we can also look at that. Homemade clothing. If you've got a knack for sewing, you can sell your homemade clothing online. Uh, so that is that you can also do all of that. These are also an area that you can, so when you have homemade clothing that you do, you can put them online. All these are green businesses that we can also explore. All right, let's go to the next slide. Sorry that I'm rushing. Uh, then we have environmental blog, publish information and news about climate change and subjects of interest to the environment. Okay, you re, uh, 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 advertising payouts to your visitors and things like that. So when we create a blog, we call an environmental blog where people can be able to access information about climate change. This climate change of a thing, not everybody has heard about it. Even some companies also, they don't even know how to go about this climate uh, change of a thing. They don't know how to go about it. Some of them are still trying here and there, especially in places like in Nigeria and even Africa generally, we have, we have not yet gotten into that space properly. And these are areas that we can, uh, uh, that there is a green business opportunity. Then advertising agents specializing in green business. This is also an area that is also very, uh, that is an opportunity. 
uh, that we can also explore. All right, let's go to the next one. Then green remodeling. Green remodeling is a perfect green business for the idea for handy entrepreneur. So we can also look at uh, also green remodeling. Anything, you can remodel anything. There is virtually nothing that we cannot remodel these days. Clothes, uh, you can even food and all of that. Many things that you can remodel right now. So you can also look, then we can start a cooperative that is communal living, uh, easily reducing the carbon footage. Uh, whatever we can do about that, we can start thinking in that area as well. These are all green business ideas that is out there that we can explore. All right, let's move to the next slide. Then I just put here green venture capitalist investing, uh, invest in helping others uh, get their green business idea off the ground. So uh, we can also look at that. This is also good uh, area. Then I, I have come across somebody that started this is a uh, is in UK. Yeah, started uh, this one. It's still moving uh, on that. Then green finance, uh, financial planning. Also, this is also another green area. So sell green bonds to those looking to have environmentally conscious business to their portfolio. Uh, this is also, I think um, also, uh, let me talk about this green, uh, green financial planning um, a little bit. Uh, the federal government of Nigeria did something last year about this green bond. They said they sell to total, is it total final health or total energy? Uh, the federal government of Nigeria, they have a lot of carbon credits. And uh, from that carbon credit, they sold to Total. And maybe in the, I will still mention, I will still talk more about carbon credit. They sold to Total a uh, carbon credit of about 92 million US dollars. And the federal government made a lot of money from that. Last year, I was able to follow that uh, very well. So uh, that's about financial planning. So we can also be thinking about the green bonds. Uh, fortunately, African Development uh, uh, Bank have come in in partnership with Nigerian government in the area of a uh, green bond, in the area of uh, you know green financing. I mean, green business financing. So we can also explore that. Then software, do software program made specifically to help businesses and uh, individual with uh, environmental uh, you know need. And so we can also explore that. All right, let's go to the next slide again. All right, okay. So I want to just talk, uh, so that is that about uh, some of the green business idea uh, that, um, that is available, which we can start uh, thinking about on how we can lay hold or how we can go into those and, uh, uh, that space and they'll uh, make uh, some good business opportunity out of it. But uh, I just want to talk about the area of uh, renewable energy. That is the space where we are right now that we are doing. Uh, our renewable energy, um, uh, we are into renewable energy and water technology. Uh, the name of our um, business is called the RVP, RVP Nigeria Limited, it's in Nigeria. Uh, we are coming into that space with a renewable energy because when we try to do a lot of, uh, when we try to uh, go to the renewable uh, energy, uh, you know, uh, landscape in Nigeria, we discover that what is uh, so much scattered everywhere in Nigeria is uh, solar uh, panel, solar energy. That is everywhere in Nigeria. But, uh, uh, you know, technology changes rapidly. Every 24 hours before you talk about this technology, another technology has already evolved. So by and large, over the time when we started looking at, okay, how do we come into the uh, renewable energy space in Nigeria? Uh, we discovered that uh, uh, solar is already there, everybody here and there. Solar, but solar has a lot of limitations because we discovered that solar cannot power the industrial. Uh, space in the industrial, uh, you know, um, uh, energy need, and even some commercial energy need, it, it, the solar is, is sort of uh, limited in, in one way or the other because of the energy or the part, but it depends on the battery. And solar is also weather dependent. So when we look at all of this, so we now decided uh, to go into what we call the magnetic generator. A uh, magnetic generator in a, also another form of renewable energy we have, sorry, before I go into magnetic generator, is we have the wind energy. 
The wind energy also is weather dependent because you need a place where the wind is uh, regular throughout the year from January to December for the turbine to be able to roll and produce energy. I mean, to produce uh, power. So we now come to magnetic generator. A magnetic generator is not weather dependent. Uh, it's a fuelless generator and it doesn't use diesel. It doesn't use petrol. It only use a permanent magnet to produce the magnetic uh, force is now converted into electrical force. So the magnetic generator, so uh, this one is a sample of the magnetic generator that we have. This is 100 kilowatts magnetic generator, and this one can power 20 houses. Uh, it produces 100 kilowatts per hour, and it can power 20 houses with the minimum, I mean, with a maximum of uh, three air conditions, although it can do more than that. It depends on, uh, you know, so, uh, so that is that. So that is a magnetic generator. Uh, and then another thing with this renewable energy is that with this generator is that uh, this generator cannot be used as a backup, but it can, be, it can only be used as the main source of the power generation because once the generator is put on, it cannot be shut down and the generator continues to run for the next 20 years or more. So that is one thing with this uh, uh, magnetic generator. All right. Uh, Next slide, please. Uh, then also, this is uh, another magnetic generator. It's the same thing. This is the 500 kilowatt per hour magnetic generator that can power about 100 houses. These are also green business. So uh, that is another magnetic generator that can power five houses convenient. I mean, 100 houses conveniently at five kilowatts per hour for each house. All right, next one. Then, of course, this is the Another one of magnetic generator, this is one megawatt. This one can power 200 houses at once at five kilowatt per hour for a house with a minimum and maximum of three air conditions as well. Uh, that's another renewable energy um, for magnetic generator that we have. Then also, okay, go to the next slide. Then because we are water and um, energy uh, company, so we also have what we call the industrial atmospheric water harvester. This system, um, it's uh, the conventional uh, way of producing water is everyone, you know, take water from the, uh, from the bottle or from whatever, and then you purify or you refine the water and, and, and bottle it. But, but this uh, system harvests water vapor from the atmosphere. So the system harvests the water vapor from the atmosphere. And it's been proven that there are more water in the atmosphere than on the ground. So this is also part of the green business. So this produces about 3,600 liters uh, water per day that is capture water vapor. The system is complete. So it captured the water vapor. It's, it, uh, it's also purify it and everything uh, every day. All right. So that is the industrial one. Then go to the next one. Then this is for the household that can be used in the house. So you just uh, have it in your house. You can have it at the table or the dining. It's also a water harvester that produces about 300 liters of pure water or, uh, uh, from the air every day uh, to the house, uh, for the household as well. So that's another um, green uh, uh, water technology. All right, the last one we have is a uh, uh, clean sip uh, water straw. This is a, a technology embedded water straw that can be used to drink water, either rain water, stream water, or even Nigerian pure water that is not properly filtered. You can use it to drink the water. And uh, uh, this also, you can use this straw for about six months before you can throw it away. So, and all the products that I showed you uh, under our own system, under our own green business, is already been uh, gone through, we have already, it has gone through certification by the Federal and Food and Drug Agency in the United States, uh, by European Union, all of this has been certified uh, 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 before we now roll them out uh, for use. Uh, fortunately, we are just coming in into this space, so we are still uh, in process of launching all of these products. So uh, I think that's the last slide, uh, Prof. Can you check? Is that the last slide? 